ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh, today we've got a bit of a unique job for our area we have a gentleman in a three-quarter ton diesel pickup uh, pulling a trailer that uh, was trying to collect driftwood from the Mississippi River banks and uh, got a little bit too close to the edge of the river and is sunk in the uh, mud slash sand along the river's edge so we're gonna go see we're in the uh, traffic control unit number 16 uh, it's got front and rear winches on it I do not know if it's gonna be enough to do this job uh, they did send me pictures but uh, we're at least gonna go scout it out with this truck as always we'll try to do what we can with this there's no injuries nothing like that just uh, somebody bogged down here we go Okay, so the Mississippi River is over here to my right. Uh, there's a place here where people come down and ride four-wheelers and uh, side-by-sides and basically play in the mud after it's rained. And you can see some of the mud pits. Down there? Yep. He sent me pictures. It doesn't look too good. Thankfully, it's good and solid right now. We haven't had rain in a while. see how far down it is we might have been able to get one of the bigger tow trucks down here oh there it is mighty Mississippi and where is his truck morning sir morning you Ron? I am Brandon your daughter nice. Lauren yeah yeah. He used to work for us when we had the clothing store. Okay, yeah. That's what my wife we're in a shade tree. Yeah, she said hello on the way in. And I would have been fine as long as that front tire wouldn't I steering piece around drift driftwood and that front end went off uh, into the mud. Sand's pretty loose right here. Yeah. Where did? Which way did you come in? This way? Right back here. Back I there. Went down in the down there. I'm right. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look. Uh oh. I gotta say they lost the buoy. I'm gonna say it went through a prop. Uh, something, yeah. something beat the crap. Yeah, it did. Up. From your pictures, it looks like it's down pretty good on the other side. Yeah. Once I got to work, it pictures like crap. Oh, it's it really sticky down here. Yep. Good old Mississippi gumbo. Oh, yeah, she's down pretty good. climb up over that way. Yeah, see, that's the problem, it just wants to keep coming down this way. Right, right. The trailer's not really designed to be pulled on. No. But you're higher up back here than you are in the back. If I had another, had a bigger truck, I could just, well, if I had a bigger truck with me, I could just grab the whole thing and pull yeah. it sideways. Don't want to unhook the trailer. That's never a good idea. <laughs> Glad you didn't. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it'd be much easier coming out back than it would be going forward. But yeah, it just it kept wanting to go down that way. That's why I scared. Yeah. <sighs> you 
usually if I find myself in predicament, it's usually the best one, or the worst one. Well, I think for now, I'll just drive down here kind of the way you came in, get up here close and try to try to pull that front end this way with you helping out with the four-wheel drive kicked in i think she'll come up out of there if i can hold my truck still yeah it takes resistance to overcome resistance but i bought brought some blocks and wheel chalks and stuff so one way or the other we've we've got stuff that can get you out if this truck won't some dog and then there's one I'm not familiar with what kind of print that was Bigfoot. yeah the mighty Mississippi best way to go in down there. Yes, I have the Yankum ropes with me. Don't know how we use them or not. careful because they have campfires and there's glass and sharp objects down on this supposed beach it's not well I guess it is a beach but here that was nice 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 Got the standard ram hooks on the front? Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah, I said I'll take the film. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be fine, my friend. I think we'll be fine. That's soupy. Yeah, I lost my shoe while ago. 
I think I'll do it just one for right now. Yeah, I, I brought some uh, wheel chalks and anchors and stuff though. We'll we'll figure it out. Physics. Did you pay attention to physics class? I did actually. I did. I did. Let's see. Wood blocks and wheel chalks. Both oh, you don't have tires. Uh, yeah, all four. Well, I'm in yeah i loaded all kind of extra stuff not knowing exactly what we'd need how far it was from a solid surface that i could get to hey what sir there's a nice uh, piece of driftwood up there on top yeah that would hold you back from the front tires okay well but we'll try we'll try this first and see how she does Thing you need to take. Oh, it's all right. I got it. Um, just trying to see. I'll need this and a medium clevis. I don't need a big one. Okay, so you yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy I remodeled his house. He has a construction company. Yeah. Uh, call him the uh -huh. And he calls them shackles. Yeah. Everybody has different terminology. He's like, clevis, you put stuff together. Well. Yeah. As I said, different people call them different things. As long as everybody understands. The beaver's been after that one. That's what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like beaver marks to me. All right, then I'm gonna double my line back to that little truck. Let's hope. I could free spool it, but it likes to birdcage when you do that. It doubles the uh, strength of the line and it doubles the strength of the winch. Oh, yep. However, it doesn't double the anchor ability of my truck. That's where a dead man comes in. If you've got another piece of equipment or, or, a, or a tree, well, a tree or a sand wedge, you know, they make off-road wedges that you can use for self-recovery and for anchoring. I don't have any because we don't do that much of it around here, but. Is that? Well, if I need more, I can put a chain or something in in the line. Yeah, I'll just put a chain in the line. Okay, I'll leave it there. Actually. Uh, Probably use one of those straps because those straps actually absorb the energy. Red or blue? Either one. Red purple? Or... Yeah. Different colors for different weights? Actually, these aren't. I brought the bigger ones on these. Come here, you. 
should probably put a shackle on there, but shackle, clevis, whatever. Well, we only need one more, don't we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she works in the office. Uh, her and Talon both, her uh, her husband, yeah. my, my son-in-law, and then uh, she actually just came back to work not too long ago from uh, maternity leave. She's got our uh, first grandchild. Awesome. He's about, uh, oh, about seven months old now. I didn't think I was ready to be a grandpa until I became one. Oh, everybody, everybody is you know, it has became one. They said it's so much better. Oh yeah. They said you can spoil rotten instead of honey. <laughs> My mom, she 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 goes all overboard. She gives them a lot of sugar. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. What these do is they take up some of the uh, energy and they keep it on the. All right. Before I get it tension too much, you go ahead and get in. And I'll stay over here with you. Start it. You want to put it low or keep it high? Put it in low. Put it low. I don't want you sp spinning, spinning. Yeah. Your cleats are already full. Basically, it's just to help break the traction. And try to turn it to the right every chance you get. All right, ready? Just slow and easy. She's coming. Just be patient. That's all right. Go ahead and give her some gas. Slow down just a bit. Let it try to roll up on top of it rather than... Uh... Yep, let me see if my winch will do it. Do what? Yeah, go ahead and give it just a little bit. If your cleats weren't full, it would probably pull itself out. We may have to do it a couple of times, but it's out of the worst. We got her coming our way now. I'll walk in when you go. Yeah. Just see if I'll let me pull you. Because every time you spin that rear end, that rear end kicks down towards the river. Now that you're out of that worst of it, hopefully it'll crawl right up. I need one of them things in front of this. We've got one for the back, too, on the hitch. That's why I was talking about they've got those ground anchors. They're, they look like big, uh, well, boat anchors. Big wedges that just bury themselves in the ground with an arm on top of it. You attach the winch line to the top and it digs itself into the ground. It's about all I got. I'm gonna have to back up. Go ahead and put her in park. I know I said I didn't want to put it in free spool, but I'll just go real slow with it. Yeah. And I think I'll just take these two lines out or two sections of rope out and go straight to you, and that ought to get you up here pretty daggum close. Just took that right into that clevis. And that ought to get you out of here. Or... Hope it does anyway. You're coming pretty good. Ready? 
you are. Here, stop spinning. Just let me pull you. Come on, girl. Battery's getting low. Oh yeah, she's coming up out of there now. I don't want that back end to slide down any further. It's still down in that soft stuff. Another four or five feet and you'll be up where it's kind of hard packed. That front tire went away off right there in that head. That would have had to pay. Then it just sucked you down. It, yeah, I know, nothing you could have done at that point. I'll bring you all the way up as close as I can get, then I'll disconnect and I'll back up and we'll see. I think I, I think I got it. I think I have it right now. I didn't want to put no slack in my eyes. Now your trailer's in it. I'm gonna stop. For now, I'll just loosen these and back up and I'll see if you can, I don't wanna take all this rigging down just in case I have to come back up and help you some more. Hold on just a second. Oh, come on. That's all right. I'm just going to back up. Don't want to get too much sand in the pool. Yeah. Once she sat down, she did, did pretty good. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Okay. All right, yes, sir. Uh-huh, thank you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's one dig. It is. That's what it's doing. It's just digging. All right. No, it's worth the doing. Ah, uh, no. Actually, I have a different course of action, I think. We'll stop using the winch and we'll start using my digging power with you. I've got those, uh, uh, oh, shoot, Yankum ropes that are designed for. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen those. Yep. I don't want to put a ton of yank on it just some steady pressure to help give you traction. That just sounds free. Yes, sir. That's all it does. Oh, I had some sand in it. Imagine that. 
<laughs> yeah, one of the, the sun that was walking around, one of our favorite shows is the Highway to Hell. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, but I got a camera on my head. I video a lot of this stuff, if you don't mind. I don't know. I always like to ask though, some people don't want it on there. Was filming out here, done a YouTube video out here on the interstate. Your tow truck driver on the side road trying to, it was a rollback. He's trying to load a little car and all of a sudden he walked out there. I mean, their car just right down the side, almost right down the side the truck. Possibly. It was I, right there in front of John Deere. I think. Oh yeah, 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 yep. That's been a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And a police officer took off after him. Yeah. Yep, that was me. That's, that's one of the scariest things about our job is getting hit out there. Well, and the thing is, people are stupid. They don't even try to get over just a little bit. Huh. No, they don't. All right, let me get turned around. I know I put it in here. There it is. Is that the one that's like a bungee? Yep. Yes, it is. You can look straight to the yes, sir. And then I've got this receiver hitch that's just a drop hitch pin. Works great for these. <sighs> Whew, it's going to warm up on us. I know you see them on TV where they'll get a run and yank at it. I don't do that. Get it tight. I'm just gonna put some tension on it and together we'll both start inching forward. It's the stored energy is what, what helps it. But if you start sliding down, honk at me and we'll stop. Okay. Well, we've always got the winch method. So. That worked out great. I gotta clean all this up when I get back to the shop anyway.
Woo! All right. What's the biggest truck you have now? Uh, 50 ton rotator. Yeah, rotator. Yeah, yeah. We've had, we actually got the first one in the area. That's right, I remember that. I'll just stop by up there then. All right. I'll go home, wash it off, and I'll trailer, and I'll come up here. That's fine, no problem. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Now you're right there on Nash Road on the, uh, yeah. across from Road yeah. City. Uh huh. Okay. Um, you should see the wreckers sitting out front or this truck sitting out front. Okay. I'll probably still be taking this stuff, putting it back yeah, where I've got it. So I'll hook the trailer and then wash the wheels off and that might be all off by then. Okay. But then I'll run yeah, they'll they'll fling off pretty pretty quick. You want to be careful because they'll wipe left too. But yeah, I'll be there. Not too much longer. That's all right. I'll I'll tell Lauren when I get back. If she's there yet. With the baby, he's been keeping her up late nights, so she hadn't been coming in until around noon or so. He's a night owl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they we had one of those, and the other one, the other one's just perfect angel. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better kid. Didn't cry. That's you know the first one. The first one's always the hardest for you, and then the second one's yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you're more you're more comfortable yeah. as a parent then. You know the first one. You get more patience. Every little every little move, you're scared at, when they're little, and then yeah, I understand. Been there, done that. Had got two of them ourselves. Second one's getting ready to go off to uh, tech college, so. Where's which tech? Uh, Lincoln Tech, okay. used to be Nashville uh, Diesel. Yep, I'll, I'll see you up here in just a little bit. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so, he's up on level where he can get traction now and moving on his own. Make sure I get out of here. Now he's gonna pick up a few things, pick up some more driftwood. No injuries, truck didn't get hurt. This truck didn't get hurt, so all is well. He's moving. Moving on his own. Coming on out of there. Yep. Following the same path I am. Oh, bump. De bump. De bump. He's got a newer truck. I got to stop and take mine in neutral to take it out of two low or four wheel low. Put it back too high, and we're going. All right, he's up on top. Everybody's good to go. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.